Karta lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sven, this is Woody and if you want to know why it's look like a battleground in here and why I can't reach through here anymore, then stay tuned. Okay, before we start, just a quick overview what I did. Uh, yes, I think you know the build. What did I do in the last time I cut the pond liner to put it in here because I want to have a bioactive substrate. I experimented a little bit with these hoses for my pond filter with quick connects, works perfect. Uh, down here, maybe we can have a look in the cave. I put like, like a synthetic lawn in it. But this cave will be for my, uh, for the insects the first time because it's nice and warm in it. For the dubia roaches, I will put them down in here. And on this side, I have already this connectors for my hoses for the filter. But the filter system and the, the pond liner will be a um, separate video. Okay, what we want to do today, I will glue in the glasses and the back wall. Yeah, okay, what do I need? Look, a lot of silicone, something to hold the glass. Okay, I think, let's get started. plate is installed. I glued it in with silicon. I checked everything if everything is nice and straight. So and if it's dry I will put silicon all over here in this little spot. So that is everything watertight and everything is stable.
So the corner glass parts are glued in as they are a little bit dirty but it looks good. So let us have a look. The back wall I glued in and fixed it with these clamps and this one over here I thought I had to use these clamps but the silicone got so tight so I don't have to use those clamps. Noticed I put these wooden pieces under the glass so that the glass isn't stand directly on this aluminium profiles. Okay, that's the first part. And for the rest of the fields, there will be sliding doors. Today I want to put only the aluminum sliding pieces in and the rest of the glass I have to measure again and then I will order them. But right now it looks really good. Good. The next step is to glue in those tracks for the sliding doors. There is this lower part and an upper part. And this will be, uh, the glass pieces will have those um, B-rings because of the weight. So the B-rings will roll nicely into these tracks. Okay, let's glue them in. Finally, we are ready for today. It's not really interesting stuff, uh, but let us have a look uh, what I did. And I wanted to show in this documentation that there is not everything is high interesting, but it's work that has to be done. So let us have a look. What did I today? I glued in my two side walls over here and here. And yes, when it's dry, I have to clean it. So what did I do? I put in the back wall, glued it in, and I glued in all the tracks, the lower tracks and the upper tracks. And on this side, the same. You know, on this side, this will be over the whole side, there will be two sliding doors. Yes, that was for today. <laughs> now I will take the chance to clean everything up. It looks like mess here. And then I will take all my plates and start to cover this with epoxy. And after this, I hope that the weather will be a little bit better, warmer, so I can cover all this stuff with, with this bed liner and with the sand material yes but will, this will be the whole next story okay i hope you enjoyed it i want to show everything in such a build it's it's not easy it's it's not building it in one day i show every step okay and if you like this this kind of content in my build series press a like button maybe subscribe okay guys stay safe and we see us on the next series